Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve division problems involving a zero in the quotient, so a zero in the answer. This is a type of problem where some common mistakes are made. So we're going to go through a couple of examples here to show us what to look out for. We'll go through these two examples together, and then I'll give you two practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we have 927 divided by three. The first thing that we need to do is set this problem up. 927 is our dividend. It's the number being divided, so it goes under the division bar here. And then three is the divisor. It's the number we are dividing by, so it goes on the outside. And now we are ready to go through our division steps, starting with divide. So we have nine divided by three. How many whole groups of three in nine? How many threes in nine? Well, three, and that hits nine exactly. So we write our three up top here, and now we multiply. Three times three is nine. After we multiply, we subtract. Nine minus nine is zero. After we subtract, we bring down. So we bring down that next digit, which is a two. And now after we bring down that next digit, we repeat. So we go back to divide and we have two divided by three. So how many whole groups of three in two? How many threes in two? Well, none, we can't do that. Now this is a common place where people get stuck or make a mistake. Since we don't have any whole groups of three in two, we don't have any threes in two. So what we do, we put a zero up top above the two. So we're just going through our normal division steps. We just happen to have a zero in our answer. And now we multiply. Zero times three is zero. Subtract, two minus zero is two. Bring down, so bring down the seven. And now we have 27 and we repeat. So we go back to divide and we have 27 divided by three. So how many groups of three in 27? Well, nine, and that hits 27 exactly. So we write our nine up here and then multiply. Nine times three is 27. Subtract 27 minus 27 is zero. And we are done. Our answer is 309. And we know we are done because we went all the way over to the ones place within our dividend, so that number under the division bar, and we don't have anything else to bring down. And then this zero at the bottom tells us we do not have a remainder here. So this worked out perfectly. Our final answer, 309. Let's move on to number two, where we have 1,285 divided by eight. We'll start by setting this up. So 1,285 divided by eight. Let's start with divide. We have one divided by eight. How many whole groups of eight in one? How many eights in one? Well, we can't do that. So we are going to use that two and think of this as 12. So we have 12 divided by eight. How many groups of eight in 12? Well, one. So we need to put the one above the two. And that's very important. It needs to go above the two, not the one, since we used that two and thought of this as 12. Now we multiply. One times eight is eight. Subtract. 12 minus eight gives us four. Then we bring down and we have 48 now. We repeat, so we go back to divide. We have 48 divided by eight. How many groups of eight in 48? Well, six, that gets us to 48 exactly. So we write our six and then multiply. Six times eight is 48. Subtract, 48 minus 48 is zero. After we subtract, we bring down this five. And now we repeat. So we go back to divide. We have five divided by eight. So how many whole groups of eight in five? How many eights in five? Well, none. We don't have any whole groups of eight in five. We need a zero right here. 
don't leave this as 16. 16 is a lot different than 160. We need that zero in the ones place. Now we multiply. Zero times eight is zero. Subtract. Five minus zero is five. Now we went all the way over to the ones place within our dividend, the number under the division bar, and we don't have anything else to bring down. So that five is our remainder. So our answer here is 160, remainder five. And those are our two example problems. Now it's time for you to try two practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. I'll give you five minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was five minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, 828 divided by four equals 207. For number two, 4,604 divided by five equals 920 remainder four. Feel free to pause if you need more time to check your answers. So there you have it. There's how to solve division problems where we have a zero in the quotient, a zero in the answer. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.